Hey, it's Lisa, and I'm always cooking. I'm back from my summer hiatus. I have these beautiful heirloom tomatoes I got from my farmer's market. So with that, let's make a stupid easy tomato galette. For ingredient list and printable recipe, follow the link below. Core the tomatoes and slice them into quarter to half inch thick slices. Here I'm using my bread knife because of the serrated edge. It makes it so much easier to cut tomatoes. Layer the sliced tomatoes and salt in a colander over a bowl to drain the liquid out of the tomatoes. And then let that sit for 30 minutes. Prepare the garlic, dill, and cheese. Place the pastry sheet onto a silicone mat or parchment paper. This will make it easier to transfer to your baking pan. And with a rolling pin, roll the pastry sheet out to approximately the same size as your baking pan. Drain the liquid from the tomatoes and pat them dry between kitchen paper. Transfer back to the bowl, toss with garlic, dill, olive oil, pepper, and a little bit more salt if you think it needs it. Leaving about an inch border, sprinkle the cheese onto the dough. Then layer the tomatoes in an overlapping pattern, tucking any tomatoes you weren't very gentle with underneath. Sprinkle any remaining dill, garlic, and cheese over the top of the tomatoes. Fold the crust up and around the tomatoes. Brush the crust with egg wash and sprinkle with finishing salt. I have three flavored salts, red wine, citrus, and garlic and herb. And any one of these will work with this galette. I received these salts as a gift from my friend In the Kitchen with Karen. If you'd like to know how to make these salts, I'll link her video at the end of this video and I'm going to finish using the garlic and herb salt. In the oven, 400 degrees, 45 minutes. Now that my tomato galette is out of the oven, I'm going to let it cool down. Actually, I am going to serve it at room temperature, so it will just sit and hang out for a couple of hours on my counter while I wait for my steaks to finish cooking in the sous vide pot back there. Once again, Thank you for putting up with me during my summer hiatus and thanks for watching.